As a nurse, you want to be familiar with different types of heart rhythms. And in this review, I want to be talking about pulseless electrical activity, also known as PEA. PEA is a rhythm that whenever you look at the ECG, you will see organization to it. And what you will see in terms of organization can vary on the ECG. You can see P waves with QRS complexes, which makes it look like normal sinus rhythm, sinus tack, or sinus bradycardia. And this makes its appearance seem like a normal finding, but it's any Anything but normal because whenever you go to check your patient your patient will be unresponsive they will not have a pulse and they won't be breathing therefore PEA is a life-threatening rhythm and it indicates that your patient is in cardiac arrest therefore as a nurse it's always important that you check your patient you feel that pulse to confirm your findings with what you're seeing on that ECG reading now what causes PEA well one big cause is hypoxia where the patient doesn't have have enough oxygen in the blood. Another cause is hypovolemia, like hypovolemic shock, or an electrolyte imbalance where the potassium level is being affected, where we have hypo or hyperkalemia, or the patient has a blood clot like thrombosis, or they've experienced some type of trauma or cardiac disease. Now, what is the treatment for PEA? So as a nurse, after you've confirmed that you do have PEA, you want to immediately activate the emergency response system, call code blue, call 911, and start CPR immediately. So you'll be doing CPR, you'll have a team of people helping you and you'll be doing rhythm checks per ACLS's recommendations to see what kind of rhythm you have. Now one thing you want to remember about PA is that it is a non-shockable rhythm. We cannot shock this rhythm so we'll just continue CPR until we have a rhythm that we can shock. Now some medications that can be given are like epinephrine and we'll be supporting the airway throughout this. And throughout this time of trying to resuscitate this patient we'll be thinking of the H's and the T's. What could be causing this PEA? For instance, is it hypovolemia? Is it hypoxia? Is there toxins involved? Do we have a clot like thrombosis? Is there a tension pneumothorax? And so forth. Okay, so that wraps up this video over pulseless electrical activity. And if you'd like to watch more videos over ECG interpretation, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.